Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the Comica Boom XD. It's a wireless microphone kit for USB-C powered devices. Now this is the UC2 version. So if you do have a USB-C device, such as an Android phone or even like a MacBook Pro, then this wireless kit is going to be perfect for you to get the best audio. Now this is very compact. It does resemble the Rode Wireless Go. So I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna give you an unboxing to see what comes in there. I'm gonna set it up with my Android phone and even set it up with my MacBook Pro as well, just to show you the capabilities of setting this up with multiple devices test the audio to see how great it is and how easy it is to set up. So let's get straight into it. So there you go. There's the two transmitters and the one USB-C receiver. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I'll get to that in a second. Let's see what else is in the box. So you've got a user manual in multiple languages. So you've got two little boxes inside. So this is the reset pin. And inside this box, you have a wired lavalier mic as well. So you get two of these for each of the transmitters. I will be testing this out on one of them as well to show you the difference between the inbuilt wireless microphone and the actual lavalier mic as well. In the other box, we have, you have the USB-C charging cable, and then you also have two pairs of wind muffs. So if you're gonna be recording outside, then it's recommended to put this on the mic as well. So you've got a little square hole there to clip into the microphone part of the actual transmitter. Okay, so the UC2 model comes with a dual transmitter microphone kit and one USB-C receiver. Let's take a look at this in more detail. So on the front, you have a LED display there as well. On the right hand side, you have two buttons. One is the power on button, and that doubles up as a mute button when it's on. Then you have the pairing button. By default, it comes paired out of the box, so you have both of these connected to the USB-C receiver already. But you can pair this if you have any connection problems. On the back, you have a belt clip, but this also doubles up as a cold shoe mount. On the left hand side, you have the USB-C charging port and then also a reset pin port as well. So in case you're having problems and you wanted to reset this microphone, then you can do that with the pin that's provided. So on the top, you have a mic input. This is for the lavalier mic. So if you wanted to connect this, then you just put that in there and this will clip in nicely like that. You have a little section there that there's a, a side clip to the actual 3.5 millimeter mic input that makes it a little bit more secure so it doesn't fall out maybe when you've clipped this to your trousers or your jeans. So that's convenient. Then you just have to pull that out by pushing it in. And then you have the inbuilt microphone there as well for the actual device. Let me go ahead and turn this on. So there you see, there's a few things that is displayed here. Now for all of the information on this, just take a look at this screenshot and pause the video if you need to see this in more details. But this is key to see your audio levels. So as I'm speaking, it can show you how loud or how soft the audio input is. So now if I turn both of them on, both are now receiving my audio and pretty much ready to go. One thing to note, on these devices, if you wanted to check which one is A, which one is B, you'll see the letter there on the bottom left hand side of the LED screen. Now in terms of the receiver, it's got a couple of buttons here. The first one is adjustable for the volume. The second one is the MS button. That basically stands for mono or stereo. So you can switch between both of those audio outputs. You have two indicator lights here. They turn red if they are not paired and they turn blue when they are paired. So A and B is for each of the transmitters. If you wanted to switch between mono and stereo, the light will turn purple or blue. And then at the bottom, you have the headphone jack there as well. So this will allow you to basically hear the audio whilst it's being recorded in real time. And that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and set it up with my Google Pixel 4. So what you see is that the lights will go red for a second while it's connecting but very quickly they'll turn blue because they'll pair with the transmitted. There you go, now you can see the lights are now blue and they're ready to use. So what I'll do is I'll go into my phone's camera. I'll switch to video mode. I'll swipe down. 
and you'll see an option there called external mic and it's turned on. So if I didn't want to use the external microphones, I can just turn it off. But now I'm gonna test that and play some audio and give you a demo with the external mic. All right guys, so this audio is coming from my shotgun microphone, which is about a meter and a half away from me now. I'm gonna clip this Comico wireless mic into my pocket. There we go. And now you're hearing the audio directly from this microphone. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the difference? Is it very clear? Is the audio coming out perfectly? If I lean back a little bit, the audio is still the same. I have the freedom of movement. I can go around. Now, one thing to remember, it has a 50 foot range on this as well. So you can pretty much go around everywhere, get the best audio in large areas, have a couple of people speaking. Now, both of the microphones are actually connected together. When you have both of them, and I'm speaking into both of them together, it's not gonna make much difference because they are going into one video input from two audio sources. So it's no different than having two or three people speaking at the same time when you're just using your phone, nothing else attached to it to record the video and the audio. So if you're gonna have maybe a podcast or you're gonna have two people commentating on a particular video or some shots, then this is the perfect thing to have. So both audio inputs are now going into that same receiver, so it's working perfectly fine. Now the last difference I wanna show you is to record this using the lavalier mic that comes with it. So I'm going to quickly connect this and let me know if you guys can see any immediate difference or if you hear any muffling noises with this in my pocket or on the shirt. So if I move this around, the microphone will probably pick up some muffling noises. So I just wanna see if that is still there with this lavalier mic. So let's go ahead and connect this up. Okay guys, so now I've got the wired lavalier mic. I've uh, clipped it to my jeans there. I've got the wire going from underneath my shirt and coming out right here at the top. So you might hear some muffling noises if I'm adjusting it. But can you tell the difference between just the uh, wireless inbuilt microphone and this lavalier mic? Let me know down below. Otherwise, a lot of people, especially YouTubers, filmmakers, they're going to be using this because it's a little lighter, it's a lot less conspicuous and it doesn't stand out so much. It can easily be hidden when you're wearing a shirt or hiding it behind a collar or something like that. Now, the last thing I wanna do is set this USB-C receiver up with my MacBook Pro and see if I can uh, change the uh, audio input to the wireless mics and get perfect audio coming in from that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this receiver into one of the USB-C ports on my MacBook. As you can see, it's connected to one of them. I've turned the other one off. So we've got one blue light. So what you have to do, if you go into system preferences, then click on sound. In the input tab, you just need to select the USB-C advanced audio device, which is basically this Comica microphone. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I have a voice recorder app. Now what I'm gonna do is start recording and play back the audio directly from this using the Comica microphone. So I'll have this close to me like this. Okay guys, so this is a test on the audio coming directly into my MacBook Pro using the Comico USB-C receiver inputted into one of the Thunderbolt ports on the left hand side. So let me know what you guys think of the audio. Alright guys, so that was the review. I'm so happy with this purchase. I can now get some great audio and use my phone as my main filming camera rather than carrying along my DSLR or mirrorless cameras with me everywhere. It's so convenient, the audio is so perfect. It's a whole professional kit for just your smartphone. And even better, if I'm taking meetings on Zoom or Google Meet or anything else on my laptop for work and I want some really clear audio, then I can even use this on my laptop. So if you have a laptop that has a USB-C input that can be used for the microphone, then use this because this is gonna give you the best audio and it's so convenient being wireless. You can have the lavalier mic, you can have the wind sleeve if you're outdoors for whatever filming you want to do. I'm very happy. One other thing to note as well, although this kit is the dual transmitter to a USB-C receiver, if you have an iPhone, then you can also get a dual transmitter kit which has a Thunderbolt receiver as well. And there's also another kit for a dual transmitter and a receiver which is exactly like the transmitter for DSLR or mirrorless cameras. So there's various different options to cover all bases. So whatever recording device you need a microphone for, they'll have it. So I'll leave a link in the description for all of those kits, including this USB-C one. It is 215 pounds. I'll have a link to the Amazon pages in your local country as well. So make sure you click that link. If you did find this useful, then uh, I do appreciate a thumbs up on the video. I've got tons more audio equipment reviews coming up in the future, which I know you're gonna like. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss those. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.